Hey, what's good everyone? So, Kip Package from Saucony arrived at my workplace today. This guy right here. And uh, let's go home and open this thing up and have a look inside what's inside. So as you saw, Saucony has sent me a little care package for Christmas it seems. So shout out to Saucony, thank you very much for hooking me up with all this stuff. The whole pack consists out of a track jacket as you can see that I'm wearing today. And also the sweater which is really, really dope. I'm not wearing the track pants even though they are an XL. They do fit a little snug and uh, it's also too cold to wear track pants I think. Even though it's also too cold to wear a track jacket. <laughs> Anyways, but let's focus today on the Azura that they have just re-released last week. This bad boy right here. The Azura has released first time in 1988. Of course, it's a classic runner from that era, as you can see, because it has the same kind of materials from a lot of vintage retros right now that have come out. For example, the Nike Skylon, the Reebok Astrak, and a bunch of other shoes. It has this uh, felt material here, which makes the shoe, of course, very light, but also very prone to dirt. I think you can already see some, some dirt marks here on the shoe. And it has this very beautiful mesh, open pole mesh that I really, really like. I've seen this recently on a lot of runners from that era as well. And this is very breathable, uh, very good ventilation. I really like this a lot. And then you have a like a nylon material on the side that has a little lining on it to, uh, to give it a little detail. And the shoe altogether consists out of um, synthetic materials. This has no leather, so whoever is vegetarian or vegan might be uh, ready to grab these up as well. Then you have this very dope Azura logo on the side of the shoe. And again, another time on the tongue as well and nice late 80s, early 90s, neon colors, as you can see. Uh, I think this is just a very nice vibe and brings you right back into the end of the 80s. I have given this a little reshape here and notice that if the material gets wet, you might be uh, facing a little bit of bleeding. So watch out if you're making long straws in the rain, uh, which you want to avoid anyways, that this might be bleeding onto the shoe. Uh, very simple shoe. In the lining here is a cloth material which feels nice. Um, nothing spectacular but it is a running shoe after all. The same kind of material here on the back of the tongue. And then if we have a look inside you can see the yellow Saucony logo on the blue insole. Bottom the classic, I think it's an XT600. Yeah, XT600 outsole, yellow, black, blue. Uh, the typical Saucony pattern here. I think it's a very dope shoe. And uh, Saucony is going to release a bunch of other vintage models from the archives because, and it's actually the right thing to do right now because all the other brands are doing that. Why should Saucony be doing that? And I think there are a lot of Saucony fans who are looking forward to that. And I think we can expect one or the other gem out of the archive. So looking forward to that. Again, Saucony, thank you very much for sending these out. These are very, very dope. I really, really like them. And I uh, can't wait to throw these babies on feet. Sizing wise, I would say uh, go half size down from true size, at least for me. Um, I went with my usual Saucony size, which is size 12, Nike MX1 sizing and ASICGL at 3 is a 12 and a half, for example, so just as a point of reference. If you have very wide feet or high arch, something like that, you might want to grab a larger size. Uh, I only can speak for myself and the 12 half size down from TTS just fits me fine. So can't wait to throw these babies on feet, so stay tuned for the on feet section coming right up. And Thank you very much for watching. A little different format today because I'm not filming 
myself today. I have someone helping me, so thank you very much. Shout out to you, my guy. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you next time again. Until then, bye bye. Thank you.